Good morning, students. I am here, Kamal Nath. I welcome you all in the class of English. Student, you all know we have already finished chapter that little square box. I am sure you must have understood the concept and whole story. Here, I am going to discuss the question answers of the exercise, and you must. listen it carefully i suppose you will note down all this you will get some more questions from internal part of the story here the questions that is from your exercise understanding the text first question who did the speaker think the two men you were what did he think they were up to means what did the speaker think they were going to do what were their plan this is what the question to answer the speaker thought the two men who were talking suspiciously belong to the disparate agents of some group he thought that they intended to sacrifice themselves sacrifice their lives their fellow passengers and the ship in one great explosion he thought that the little square box they had they were handling and they uh, treated with so delicately he supposed that the speaker supposed that there must be some explosive in that box they were going to explode that on the ship so that all the passengers including themselves they were going to finish And that's why he was filled with terror, filled with panic. Here you have another question, second question. That is the line from your textbook from the story. A whole of conflicting ideas was battling in my mind. What were the different ideas that the speaker could not decide between? the line that is taken that is an extract from the story a whirl of conflicting ideas was battling in my mind on basis of this line the question given to you is what were the different ideas that the speaker could not decide between the speaker was not able to decide what to do when he was sure that the two men were going to put their design their plan into action first he thought if he should accuse the two men before the passengers if he should disclose the secret whatever they were doing their activities before the passengers and the captain or should he listen the latter means those two persons conversation and reveal it all after some time so between these two ideas the speaker was a battling his mind was battling his thought was battling what to do and he was not able to decide between these two ideas first he thought to disclose everything whatever he had watched he had seen before the passengers and the captain but he thought it will be better for him to watch him more to listen some more conversation and then only he would you know, reveal all all the things that he had watched next one is what did he finally decide and why the speaker finally decided to wait a little more and keep sharp vigilance on the two men and follow them at every step what their next step was what they were going to do what they were going to talk so that he could understand more about their plan in this way he could reach to authentic conclusion he thought he ultimately decided how slowly the moments seemed to pass i could count them by throbbing of my heart where was the speaker at that moment the speaker was hiding in the life boat that was hung over the deck all of you know what is live boat that is the boat in the ship only so that uh, in any kind of danger 
uh, they could use just they can use we can use to save our life that is live boat so the speaker was hiding in the live boat that was hung over the deck he was hiding there so that he could reconsider his course of action and by raising his head he could get a view of the two men what they were doing what their activities were so let us see here more questions here b how was the speaker feeling at the moment and why the speaker was extremely horrified watching the activities of the two men he was listening what they were talking he had presumed he had speculated that the two men had very dangerous and fatal plan fourth question here for you is death stared me in the face whether i did or did not give the alarm this is another here extract taken from your textbook from your story why did the speaker think he was about to die the speaker thought that he was about to die because he was sure that the two men were going to damage the ship and passengers at the risk of their own life using explosives in the box since the beginning of the story you have already read you have already watched and you too have understood how the speaker was suspicious and doubtful about the two men especially the box they were uh, just carrying they were talking about that box and at the same time the moment when they poured some whitish grain through the opening of the box and the noise clicking noise they heard from the box that all made him so filled with panic that he was sure that the two men had designed some very dangerous plan and so it was very much here here uh, alarming for him and he thought that he was going to be damaged so not only the just ship but he thought that even they were also just ready to sacrifice their lives and so he tells here that they belong to some disparate here gang of the person he thought himself helpless and he was sure that he was not able to do at this moment anything he could not do he could not stop like that next question is why did he think here uh, here there was no chance of living now why he became hopeless the speaker thought so because he knew that he was alone there on the deck and he had no time to stop them the two men were talking that had to act which they had to act on their plan just that moment another question you have here is what do you think the two men thought of the speaker when he jumped out in front of them which lines from the text support your answer you have to pick up the line also so that that line will support your view your answer which you will answer of that this question when the speaker jumped out in front of them the two men thought him mad in fact in the last part of the story you have already seen what happened what was their plan for what reason they the two men had come on the deck of the ship of course whatever the speaker had presumed had speculated about their action about their design or plan it was not so we have no doubt reached to the conclusion through the story as the news was published in the newspaper of america and so here you see here what happened what did the speaker think why when he jumped out what the two people thought about him when he was so horrified he looked so horrified he tried to stop uh, the two men when the speaker jumped out in front of them the two men thought him mad flanigan told his companion to do what they had planned for the reason they had come to the ship the following line supports it he is mad 
he told Flanagan told stopping him he saw a strong grip really held him and he told his companion to give the action to his plan and he told about the man he is mad said Flanagan time is up let it off Muller the other uh, person's name was Muller as you know so he asked Muller to do what he wanted what they had supposed to do so this is the line that supported what they thought about him and of course these were the question answers you have got so many other questions as well from the chapter that I have given you through homeworks and some more I will just discuss in the class thank you students thank you being with me thank you